We're not down all the way, are we, because of the tire? So we've used a different rear end. We've lowered the car so much that the wheel well is down on the wheel. Bad Chat Customs is more than just a show about car transformations. It's a symbol of creativity, persistence, and the raw, unfiltered charm of its star, Chad Hilt, also known as Bad Chad. The series premiered on January 1, 2019 on Discovery Channel, quickly capturing the attention of automotive enthusiasts and reality show fans alike. The show is produced by Proper Television, a company known for its knack for finding unique characters and captivating storytelling ideas. Set in the small town of Canning, Nova Scotia, Bad Chad Customs features Chad Hilt, an automotive whiz who turns what most people see as junk into jaw-dropping custom masterpieces on wheels. Chad often scours junkyards to repurpose materials that most would overlook, believing that one man's trash is another man's treasure. But the TV cameras don't capture it all. Beyond the welding sparks and revving engines, there's much more to Chad Hilts than meets the eye. Come along as we discover the layers of Chad's life and career that remained off screen. He's doing the exact same thing I'm going to be doing, and that's filling this in. We have, we have the fender spotted on there on the car. Uh, the fenders are not coming off, and the reason the fenders are not coming off, we have we have made a flip front end, which was Nathan's idea. Chad Hilt, affectionately known as Bad Chad, has carved a niche in the automotive world that's as distinctive as his custom creations. Born in Kingsport, Nova Scotia, Chad's journey from a small town kid to a renowned custom car builder is a tale of passion, perseverance, and sheer creative genius. From a young age, Chad was fascinated with anything that had wheels. Growing up in a modest environment, he didn't have access to the latest toys or gadgets. Instead, Chad's playground was the junk and spare parts that others had discarded. It was here, among the cast-offs, that his imagination took flight. Chad would spend hours disassembling old appliances and reassembling them into makeshift vehicles and contraptions, a foreshadowing of his future career. Chad's formal education in automotive mechanics was limited, but his real schooling came from hands-on experience. As a teenager, he got his hands on an old car, a fixer-upper that most would have overlooked, but definitely not Chad. He saw treasure where others saw junk. With limited resources but unlimited creativity, he transformed that car into something street-worthy, and more importantly, head-turning. This initial project sparked Chad's lifelong love affair with automotive transformation. He learned to weld, fabricate, and design, skills that would become the foundation of his unique approach to car building. And instead of following the beaten path of restoration, he chose to innovate. But we all know creating a new path won't be as easy as following an already established path. Still, Chad triumphed. The real turning point came when Chad decided to turn his passion into a profession. He established Hilt Auto Co. in his hometown of Canning, where he began taking on bigger and bolder projects. His approach was unconventional. Instead of using expensive materials and parts, Chad would scour junkyards and scrap piles, finding beauty and treasure in what others had thrown away. His ability to envision beyond an object's existing condition and see its possibilities became his trademark. Chad's work caught the eye of car enthusiasts and the media. His fame skyrocketed with the launch of Bad Chad Customs on Discovery Channel, where his talent for turning scraps into spectacular, custom-built cars was showcased to the world. The show didn't just display Chad's technical skills, it highlighted his creative process, his relationship with his team and family, and his underlying philosophy that, if you can dream it, you can build it. Bad Chad and his team reinvent cars with scraps that look more suited for the junkyard than the road. They slice, dice, and weld these metal bits into sleek, custom rides that are as unique as they are stunning. Think of a phoenix rising from the ashes, only it's less mythical bird and more horsepower heavy beast. All of this magic happens in a shop that's part mechanic's garage and part mad scientist lab. Chad's philosophy is simple. Why buy it when you can simply build it? With a keen eye for design and a virtuoso's touch, Chad transforms old car parts and forgotten relics into the frames and facades of his automotive creations. From sketching initial designs to the final polish, every step in Chad's shop is a study in creativity. The team works with whatever materials they can lay their hands on, often repurposing items in ways that defy conventional car building. An old airplane wing as a car roof? No problem. Hubcap transformed into sunning grills? All good. But Bad Chad Cousins isn't just about transforming cars, it's about challenging the norms of automotive design. Each project is a testament to the team's problem-solving prowess and their ability to think outside the toolbox. It's this innovative spirit that keeps viewers hooked and has cars rolling out of the shop that are nothing short of rolling art. Amidst all the thought-defying autos, Chad has never really collaborated with contemporaries in his line of work, except with his fiancée, Jolene McIntyre. They met when she came to his shop, Hilt's Auto Co., as a client. 
Their professional relationship quickly turned personal, and they became partners both in life and in business. Jolene, who has a background in business, saw the potential in Chad's unique approach to car customization and his innovative use of materials. Recognizing the need for structured management to complement Chad's creative talents, she soon took on a crucial role in the management of the garage. Jolene brings significant business acumen to the table, which complements Chad's creative and technical skills in car customization. Her responsibilities at the garage encompass a range of crucial tasks, including managing finances, client relationships, and overall project management. Jolene's ability to handle these aspects allows the shop to run smoothly and enables Chad to focus on the design and construction of custom vehicles. Her role is vital in ensuring that projects stay on budget and meet client expectations, which is essential for the success of their high stakes and tight budgeted custom builds. In addition to her business role, Jolene is also involved in strategic decision making for the company, helping to steer the direction of Hilt's Auto Co. and its branding. Another important cast member who works on the show with Chad is his son, Colton Hilt. He's appeared on the show several times, working alongside his father and contributing to various projects at Hilt Auto Co. It's not uncommon for family members involved in reality TV shows to have varying levels of participation over different seasons, depending on personal decisions and production directions. Colton is portrayed as learning the ropes of the family business under Chad's guidance, which has been an opportunity for father-son bonding. Despite some on-screen challenges and tough love from Chad, Colton's involvement in the shop and on the show continues as part of his apprenticeship and contribution to the family family business. While running the family business, Chad was presented with a unique opportunity to star in a TV show that would feature a build-off against Ian Russell. Despite the appealing nature of the offer, which promised to spotlight his skills on a potentially larger platform, Chad decided to decline. His reasoning was clear and rather introspective. He preferred not to enter into a competitive arena. Instead, Chad chose to concentrate on his current projects, valuing the creative freedom and personal satisfaction that comes from working at his own pace and style, away from the competitive pressures of of a televised contest. This decision underscores his commitment to his craft and his desire to keep his artistic integrity intact, focusing on what truly motivates and fulfills him in his professional endeavors. Speaking of commitment, Chad equally has a large heart when it comes to charity. Sometime in 2023, he hosted a special event at his shop dedicated to fulfilling a unique and touching request. This event was organized in collaboration with the We Are Young Foundation, a charity focused on granting wishes to the elderly. The special guest of the day was Marlene, a senior citizen whose heartfelt wish was to meet Chad. According to Marlene, she found inspiration and comfort in Chad's show during her challenging times in the hospital. During the visit, Chad showed her around the garage, where she saw his creations, which she had previously seen on TV. The visit not only made her day, but also provided an opportunity for emotional connection, bringing back fond memories of her husband's passion for car restoration. With such a large heart and mind-blowing work rate, being curious about Chad's bank account seems unavoidable. As of 2024, Chad's estimated net worth is between $1 million and $5 million. This variation in estimates reflects different sources and methodologies for calculating net worth. His wealth primarily stems from his career as a custom car builder and his role in Bad Chad Customs. In addition to his TV earnings, Bad Chad benefits financially from his YouTube channel and social media presence, where he shares updates and engages with his audience.